assalamu alaikum students how are you all uh, i hope so that you are learning parts of speech in a good way and this is a continued lecture and we are learning parts of speech one by one today is the turn of verb a verb is a word that tells or says something about a person or thing we cannot make a sentence without a verb the verb is the most important part of a sentence like the engine of a car it makes the sentence move by telling us what the subject is doing the verb is a very complex part of speech it has tenses aspects moods and voices verbs can be transitive or intransitive weak or strong finite or un infinite auxiliary or modal so this is a very complex form therefore the most important word in a sentence for example some examples are given here rehana takes her meals in the afternoon the sun rises in the east she has learned her lesson girls were singing he speaks the truth so uh, you can say that you can't write anything without verb because whatever the subject is doing whatever the subject is and what action that subject is doing what work that is doing what aspect we are going to let about uh, tell about the subject what voices they are sharing all the things can be told with the help of verbs as i have told you earlier that it has tenses also verb tells us about tenses a verb may refer to present time past time or future time a verb that refers to the present time is said to be the present tense a verb that refers to the past time is said to be in the past tense and a verb that refers to the future time is said to be in the future tense in this chapter in this lesson we just learn about uh, different tenses in which the verb is used if we talk about present tense present tense has four forms the first in one is present indefinite tense then present continuous tense then present perfect tense and present perfect continuous tense same is the case with past tense and future tense every tense has sub tenses four more sub sub tenses so uh, present indefinite tense is used to express general statements to describe uh, acts that are habitual or usual so for example it rains in winter they work hard all day the sun sets in the west i do not take my meals at night do you go to school every day that all the works which are general statements like the sun sets in the west it is a general truth a general statement the habitual work that a person do like they work hard all day or any usual work that it rains in winter so all these things are described in present indefinite tense if we talk about present continuous tense present continuous tense describes an action that is taking place at the time of speaking like when we are going to describe anything we said that things in a continuous way that that work is continuous like it is raining you can understand that the time when the person is speaking that action is happening on that time the boys are doing their homework are they sitting idle the girls are playing netball so you can understand quite well that when the person is talking about something in a continuous tense 
he is talking about actually about that action which is taking place at the time when the person is speaking so students here are some exercise given uh, for you uh, you have to fill uh, these uh, uh, sentences you have to use the verb appropriately by changing it into indefinite form or into a continuous form and i hope so that you know that uh, what is the difference that whenever there is an a uh, general statement whenever there is habitual work or a usual work you have to use indefinite tense and when you are going to describe any action which is uh, uh happening right now so you have uh, you have to let them explain in uh, continuous so you solve this one and make a practice of this now we move towards the present perfect tense present perfect tense is used to indicate an action that has completed by a given time so students uh, this is also very important this is actually a connection that when a person completes his action in present time we will elaborate uh, that in present perfect tense and the formation of uh, that sentences uh, is a little bit different and you will uh, learn that uh, uh, individually in the tenses lectures that uh, we uh, the formation will be a little bit change and we will use has or have uh, after the subject and then use the third form of the verb so present perfect continuous tense is a, an other form of tense present perfect continuous tense is used to indicate an action that began in the past and is still continuing and with this we have uh, we can clearly understand that some time phrase is also given with that and uh, that will complete with uh, uh, within or uh, with some uh, time period will be given so we can easily identify the sentence that whether it is a continuous tense or whether it is a perfect uh, continuous tense because with the sentences which are, uh, are using the present perfect continuous tense there is a time limit also a time is time period is given with that so students here is another exercise given to you and you have to use uh, correct form of uh, verb according to the present perfect tense and present perfect continuous tense and you can easily identify the sentences because in which you have given the time with uh, since or for you will uh, use the continuous formation of sentence and you will use has been or have been according to the subject and then the continuous participle form of the verb like uh, play and you will add ing with that playing will be used and if the sentence is perfect that the work has completed the work has done uh so you will use present perfect tense so uh this is the lecture of today and uh, we have solved page number 163 to 165 and you use uh, you solve this exercise yourself so that you can easily understand that uh, uh, how we use the verb in present tense and all the sub tenses of present inshallah we will move this lecture and we will talk about past tense and future tense also and the use of verb according to that tenses okay students allah fees take care of yourself